We're at 632 on Hudson, one of New York's premier wedding locations. Today, I'm going to share some great ideas on how do you personalize your wedding and create a connection with your guests and make it extra special. If you happen to be on a destination wedding or working at a hotel or a restaurant, rather than using their bathroom products, go in and personalize the bathroom experience by bringing some of your favorite fragrances. Here we have votive candles and fragrances from Joe Malone in London, a great way to make that bathroom experience a bit more luxe. If you're hosting an afternoon tea or having a bride shower, a great way is to do these personalized tea bags from Tea Forte. They have the name of the bride and groom on top of them, making another connection. Now these are really delicious. They're chocolate brownie, brownie lollipops, which are great for tray passing. They're personalized with bride and groom's initials on. They sent me 12 to start with, I've had four already. I love a good fragrance, and this is a great gift to give to each and one of your guests as a party favor. They put the bride and groom's uh, logo on the front, and they even do a customized uh, ribbon to match your wedding as well. And you get to select from a variety of different fragrances. In those hot, balmy summer months at an outdoor ceremony, it's fun to have a fan. This particular fan has got the invitation on the front and the wedding program on the back of it, making sure the guests are always cool. We also like these seeds as a parting favor for guests to take with them. They get to plant the seeds of happiness that are also personalized from the bride and the groom. We love M&Ms, you get to choose which variety of colors you want to work with, and you get to personalize them by either printing a photograph of them of the bride and groom, or putting the name and date. And moving on for a little bit more sweetness, this is from Godiva. Godiva have all these different presentation packages, which they get to use as favors, but I happen to love this one here, which was designed by Sylvia Weinstock in the shape of a wedding cake. The bride and groom also love the opportunity for their guests to give something for them. So in this instance, we have a card with the bride and groom's name on. The guests get to write a wish for them, and all these wishes are collected and kept in this keepsake box so they have for years to come. And finally, one of my favorite ones, something that you can make at home for a Tuscan wedding or maybe a Napa Valley wedding or a country wedding, is to take a bottle of olive oil, use these sterilized bottles, and do some fragrant olive oil with a little thank you note in line with them. So the most important thing is for us to look and to find ways that we get to personalize every inch away of the ceremony to create a crude connection for you and your guests.